time they played. But Winthrop has not been playing well. They're five and five, and Revere has been playing well. So, well, Peter, I th- you know, we, I think we thought we saw Winthrop right in the middle of that stretch where uh, quarterback, no quarterback. You know what we had, and, and really, um, and they weren't playing well during that, uh, you know, three or four week stretch there either. So, uh, but they played great two weeks ago against Medford. Yep. yep. And I'm hoping that that momentum can carry over into today, you know, because as you've said, we've both said many times, uh, this is the Super Bowl. This is both teams' Super Bowl, and whoever wins today, the season is a success, whether you're two and eight or eight and two. Correct. You know, uh, again, and I, and I, I know I keep saying this over and over, Peter, but you win the turnover war, you win, you know, typically you have a good shot at winning a game at any level, but specifically. And that's what level. it's been uh, for the Revere season: the two games that they. Turn the ball over the least they won. Right. And, uh, you know, obviously turnovers are going to be tough to avoid today with the, the cold hands and the wobbly ball. And, you know, it's going to be cold out there for these kids. It's not like the pros where they could sit on a, a heated bench or whatever. So um, we're in for it, you know. And there's a couple of firsts going on here today. This is the first live telecast. I, it's the first TV transmission ever to Revere from um, from Winthrop on Thanksgiving Day. And not only is it the first thing, but it's the first game that's live. Well, it's nice to be part of it, for sure. Yeah, I like it. You uh, know, yeah, history is made. The other first is I'm wearing long pants for the first time <laughs> since the Nixon administration. And, and sneakers, Peter. And socks and sneakers. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, Gloria DiGiulio raised a crazy kid, but <laughs> not a stupid kid. <laughs> and when I woke up this morning, I said, I'm going to put on some pants. Um... Well, I wish someone someone would have mentioned that to Sean Hart because he has uh, shorts on there today, Peter. Well, I, uh, yeah, well, he's, you know. I don't think he Sean. wanted you to feel alone, so. Uh. Yeah, he thought I was <laughs> I was going to wear shorts today, but I, I don't feel like being sick for the holidays. Um, you know, anybody that's watching out there, I can think of a million people. I talked to Brian Rebels, Butchie Rebels, the, the lunch truck guy, uh, yesterday, and uh, I told him to watch, and if he's out there, Butchie, Lean back, have a cold one, even though it's 10 o'clock in the morning, not like we haven't done that before. And uh, happy Thanksgiving, guy. Love you. Here is our national anthem, Peter. Yes. Not only is the flag waving, but the flagpole is going back and forth, too. Okay, it's a beautiful rendition. Wish it was a little quicker, <laughs> but but we're going to get going right now. Um, I don't have a roster. I will go to my car and get one at halftime, and we will um, be able to mention all the seniors uh, one last time. If you read Jerry Callahan's article in the in the Herald earlier this week, he prints it every year. It, uh, try to find it because it is it is a beautiful tribute to high school football, and. Uh, how these kids put on their clothes more slowly in the locker room and how they, you know, that they have different emotions about some of them putting on the, the stuff for the last time. 
you know, Peter, I, uh, I can attest to it. You know, did it a long time ago. Um, it is. It is emotional. You know, you, you spend three, four years, and in, in football in particular, Peter, is one of those sports where it's grueling, it's grinding, it's long. You've been playing since kindergarten in Pop Warner. It's physically you know. demanding. Exactly. And when it's over, it's, you know, I mean, uh, it, it's. Yeah, you know, and a lot of these kids aren't going to play at the college level. So um, it's the last time they officially put on the equipment, you know. Because when you're in college and you go out on a Sunday morning in the free in the snow and you play football, you don't have pads on. <laughs> That's true. But I'm looking to my right and I see all the wonderful seniors that are at the high school this year. And I, I've been tearing up the whole last couple of weeks going to the last events that my son Ben is involved in. And I'm sure I'm an emotional old Italian and I'm sure I'm going to be crying all year. But the tears in my eyes right now is because it's windy. <laughs> okay, Steven Selovich, a senior, is going to be kicking off. It bounces. It's going to go out of bounds. And that means they're going to take it at the 40-yard line, Mike, I believe, if that's if they have the same as the pro rules. I think that's what it means. It's the 30 or the 40, and I'm not sure... Uh... They should amend that rule, Mike, to say if there's somebody within the vicinity of it that can pick it up 10 yards before it goes out of bounds, it's going to be the 40, Mike. Uh, they're going to actually have them re-kick oh, it. Oh, good, Peter. good, good, that? good. That's great. I, I, that, I think that's yeah. an option that no one ever uh, uses. So, but uh, Neither one of us thought of that. But Oh, and Andy match it off, Peter, too, on top of it all. Oh, so they're going to give Mike, a, a, I mean, uh, Stephen, a little bit of a penalty on the re-kick. So it's a five-yard penalty on the re-kick. And they'll make him kick it again. Maybe they saw a little something in film, Peter, that they want their kids to return this ball somehow, some way. Yeah, um... I mean, this game is probably more scrutinized than any other game all season by the coaches. You know, I talked to Lou Chick earlier this week. The preparation is just different. The problem is, in, in the infinite wisdom of the MIAA, they made Revere play their biggest rival and their Thanksgiving rival earlier in the season. I just think that's dumb. You know, not that I think much of the MIAA anyway. Because it's all about money to them. And they're second only to the NCAA <laughs> in uh, futility. Okay, I don't have that numbers here. That was a here. good kick, Peter. That was a great kick by he's good. But you know something? We got number 27 loose. I think that might be the Corbett kid. And he's tackled by the kicker, Selovich, on the sideline. So Winthrop's into Revere territory already. It's going to be first and ten. We don't have the greatest vantage point from these stands because they're only about 15 feet in the air but looks like Winthrop's ball at the Revere 41. Peter I don't know if you saw it but one of our guys got hit hard. Oh he got smashed right in the middle yeah but that's you know say what you will Winthrop has tough kids and they they don't hold back. Well, that, this that is the hottest hitting game every year it's the hottest hitting game all season and that's just what it's going to be today. And I know that the mothers in the stands are saying, he hit my kid hard, but you know something? It's legal. <laughs> no, that was a good, clean hit there, Peter, yep. for sure. They just, Winthrop in every sport. I know in lacrosse, they, you know, they, they hit to hurt. All right. Uh -oh. Direct snap right up the middle. Brought down by um, Eddie Valsamis, number 50. He's a senior captain. Gain of about five yards. It's at the 30, uh, 36 of Revere. Second and five. Revere comes to the line. Their stud back, number 27, Corbett. He doesn't get the ball. 
Goes around the sideline. I think Revere stopped him for no gain. Nope. It's going to be a first down. Peter, yeah, it is so. a first down. Well, you can hear the hits from up here today, Peter, even in this wind. The hits are crisp, as crisp as the wind. But it is just 20, 30 mile an hour wind right in your face or right on the ocean, Mike. Peter, this is a uh, another facility that could really use an, uh, a redo. Yeah, it needs to be nuked. Oh, hey, Corbett spins around. He must be close to the first down. First time with telecasts from this side of the field, so it's hard to tell because the first down markers are uh, not in our sights. Yeah, you, second and second and four. You would have thought with a little pull we could have got 50 yard seats there, Peter. But uh, yes, down here on the 25, 30. Well, we didn't know how many people were going to show up <laughs> when we set up the cameras this morning. That might be against Winter if it's in the backfield. Oh, that's something. I don't know what that is. Mike, not only is the football a tradition, but the reunions and the, uh, you know, the um, the kids coming back from college, some of them for the first time, uh, you know, see a lot of hugs, a lot of renewed uh, friendships. Uh, Thanksgiving Day is just... Um, is, is just special, not only because it's a f family hall. It's against Revere, Mike. That was unsportsmanlike, The penalty. Peter. Yeah. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. So Revere's got, I mean, uh, Winthrop's got first and goal from the nine yard line on their first trip down. Quarterback's going to keep it. He's going to go up the middle. He's going to get tackled by um, number 12, Mike Norton, Jr. Small gain there, Peter. Small gain. Yep. One or two yards. Second and six, second and seven. So it is first and goal, I think. The markers are down. Second and goal. Right? I'm sorry, second and seven, right? Second and seven. All right, it's a fumble, fumble, and he falls on it himself, and now it's going to be third and seven, Mike. Of course, this is four down territory anyway, but. That clock's going to take all day to wind down today, Mike. Okay, third and seven for Winthrop. They got one back. Oh. They fake the handoff. It goes up the middle. Right there, oh, and you know something? A host of Revere tacklers drove him back. That's Stevie Noel. Um, that's the catch carrying kid. Uh, Not to mention good, proper tackling technique. Absolutely. Absolutely, and Eddie Valsimus was in on that tackle, too. So now it's going to be fourth and seven. And this could be a momentum builder for the, for the Patriots, Mike, if they can hold them here. Timeout Winthrop. That's their first of the 14 that they have. I was talking to a guy the other day, uh, a basketball ref uh, at, a, at a CYO game, and he also refs football. And we were talking about the timeouts because somebody took a timeout in the basketball game. And uh, he just said, I said, how many timeouts did they get? He says, five. I was keeping score. He says, nothing like football where they get ten. And he just rolled his eyes in his head. It was ten timeouts in the game. Well, we've been joking about that since we've been doing the telecast. Well, at least it's official now because we just thought people yeah, were Yeah, no, he right? said 10. He told me it was 10. Yeah. 
Like, this is just a grudge match every year. The, the towns don't like each other. Uh, you know, they play every sport hard against each other. Winthrop obviously has the has the, um, has the the edge in football. But in other sports, Revere's pretty competitive. But when you think about it, Winthrop has like 300 kids in the whole school. As compared to uh, 1,600 or That's 1,800 That's right. And seven, seven, you know, 75% of their kids play sports. And for a long time, they were great at hockey. You know, they just started lacrosse with us last year. Um, you know, football. I don't know how are they are they are they good in baseball, Mike? Uh, yeah, Peter. You know what? Every year, yeah. Okay, there's a handoff. High snap. Another pitch. Oh, and they got him. Play. Revere stops Winthrop on the first drive, and that's a momentum builder for the Patriots, Mike. Peter, number 22 came up, made a. That's A.J. Mateen. What a great play. Yes. Great tackling technique, like you said. And he stops their best runner. The kid's a state qualifying runner. He's probably going to be an all-scholastic. So Winthrop gets put back on their heels. Something you don't see a lot, Mike. And uh, Revere is uh, first and ten from about the seven. Actually... From the 12. Okay. Timeout, Revere. Issues because someone's got their helmet off. I think they're trying to fix his helmet before he gets into the game. I'm not sure if they're going to take a timeout or not. But uh, well, they got nine more. <laughs> no problem. So we're live. This is Revere TV live from Miller Field in Winthrop. We're streaming live not only to Revere Mike but worldwide. So once again, I'd like to say hi to my friends in Tanzania. You know, Mike, this isn't the coldest game I've ever been to. Um, when Flutie was playing for BC, I used to, we used to follow them everywhere. We went to the Liberty Bowl in Memphis, and it was four below zero um, when we played in the Liberty Bowl. And the whole, the whole city of Memphis just shut down. Rental cars were, were seizing engines because they didn't put antifreeze in the engine. This is in the 70s, and it was just cold. So you know what we did? Jack Daniels is a great heater. Actually, down there was George Dickel Bourbon. Okay, here they come to the line. Dan Murphy's on the center. You know, Revere's had three or four different quarterbacks. And Louis Ciccatelli told me that... Um, that Caleb Silva is going to get the ball 30 times today. Well, I don't think we're going to see the ball in the air today, Peter. I, you know, uh, it would be difficult. You know, unless they throw a little screen, but even that's going to be wobbling all over. Even the place. though Tom Brady threw it 50 times against the Colts last Sunday. I mean, against the Broncos last Sunday. Okay, here they come to the line again. It's second and seven. Now you got... Ah, uh, there was movement, Mike, yep. on Revere. False start. It's going to go back five. But it looks like Check's going to keep him thinking today because you had Murphy go on the center for the first down, and now you got Tommy Portrait in the gun for the second down. So I think they're going to um, they're trying to fool people by keeping them on their toes. Yep, Murphy back in the game. Looks like they're going to put some packages in there, Peter. Four, yep. Two, three kids out at a time. <laughs> Jen Semino brave in the cold to take pitches today. She's been everywhere for these seniors. Okay, David Castro is split almost in the Little League park to the left. And Ravi Ryland split to the right. They hand it off up the middle to Silva. And he gets thumped for no gain. You're watching Revere TV. Bob Dunbar, executive producer, back in the truck. We got Sergio, Sergio Leone and Angel Arroyo on camera, freezing their butts off. And it's Pete DiGiulio along with Mike Hinojosa. I don't know what what number game this is, but it's it's in the 60s. Um, 
got stopped for a couple of years for the war. Not only the war between countries, but the war between cities. Over the middle, it's intercepted by number 11. Was that portrait who threw the ball? Yep. And what we started off the telecast saying that uh, turnovers are, are nails in the coffin. We'll see if uh, this is the first nail. thrown very far behind that receiver Peter. Yeah it was. I mean it wasn't wobbly though. I mean it was a tight spiral but it was thrown behind. Okay high snap. There's a flag on the play. It's a hold against Winthrop. So, so far in the early going, Revere has been lucky and good. I mean, Winthrop gets pushed back. It's going to be first and about 20. I'm just curious if people can hear how windy it is through these microphones. Peter. Well, it, it, it is. It is windy. I tell you, this is the best tackling I've seen Revere have. That was Mike Norton. That was A.J. Mateen. That was Steven Selovich. They're gang tackling, Mike. And I haven't seen this in a long time. No, again, maybe it is that momentum that we saw from last week, Peter, because uh, that defense played pretty good last week, too. Well, at the pep rally yesterday, uh, Coach Chick said that they had the best week of practice that they've had all year. And, um, you know, with Winthrop on the horizon, I can, I can tell that that's the case. We got 4:13 left in the first quarter. There's no score, and uh, for the weather, we got a pretty good crowd, Mike. Yep. Hand off to Corbett going around the left side. He gets hit by. It looked like number 10, Peter, but I only saw his number. It did look like number 10. And I, 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 you have to excuse me, I, I'm not sure who number 10 is. Because during the year, I don't remember number 10. It might have been number 20. Uh, no, he's not in there either. Well. Actually, that was number 40. But it's not Mike 40. It's a, it's, uh, somebody else is in that. Uh, oh, yeah, that is him, Peter. I, okay, looked like a 10 from here. Yes, again. yes, yes, yes. I thought it was 10 also. Seats, Peter, so, okay. Uh, <laughs> it's third and 17. And the ball's going up in the air. And it's out of bounds. It's going to be fourth and 17. Well, well coaches yeah. are taking a chance to throw the ball. Well, what are you gonna, Peter, this ball's going to go up too because uh, what are they going to do here, punt from the 20? Oh, no, they're going to go for it for sure because it's 4th and 17 from the 21-yard line. they got to get to the 4-yard line for a first down. I'm looking at Marissa Parent that just came in, graduated two years ago. She's a junior Actually, she's a junior at Framingham State. She's in consideration for All American in soccer. Mike led the mass led the mass cack in goals and points this year with 40 points. Great kid. Okay, it's a handoff, and once again, Revere is just up to the task of tackling Mike. They are jacked up. Michael Norton, probably the lightest kid on the team, number 40 again. We're going to get his number, uh, his name after the break. It's going to be first and ten Revere, Mike. They've stopped one through two straight times. That, that, you know, that's pretty good, Peter. Now, considering, you know, all the games that we've done, a couple of stops. But, Mike, I've never seen it like that. I've never seen three or four guys on on the 
on the ball carrier every time. Well, it's nice to see the offense, I mean, the defense pick up the offense after a turnover, you know. Absolutely. Uh, usually it comes right back to haunt us. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, that's a wide okay. open. He's got lots of room, Peter. He could be gone. You know something? That's he Caleb is Zelda. gone. 30, 20, he touchdown, Caleb Silva. Revere breaks the ice, and there is a lot of ice around here. In the 2013 Thanksgiving game, Revere goes up 6 nothing after stopping Winthrop twice, and Mike, the momentum is, is higher than it's been in a long time here. Peter, what an angle we had. That hole just opened up, and there was nothing but daylight. Nobody was stopping him. So Revere has something to, to build upon. Uh, Steven Selovich is going to line up for the extra point. Robbie Ryland with the hold. Snap is down. The kick is up, and it is good. So coming back up the field with 2.53 left in the first quarter in the Thanksgiving Day game, it's Revere 7, Mike, and Winthrop with the goose egg. I like the sound of that, Peter. Mike, actually, you and I... Uh, did the telecast the last time Revere won, and I know when it was because my son was a freshman. It was three years ago at Revere, actually four years ago at Revere, and they won in overtime. And it was cold that day, too, but I had my <laughs> shorts on. <laughs> so <laughs> You're watching Revere TV. You're sourcing Revere for anything you want. Tune in channels 8, 9, and 22 on your cable box, and you'd be surprised what's on there. If you want to volunteer, learn how to work the cameras, uh, be a part of the Revere TV experience, you can uh, go on uh, uh, revertv.org or just stop by their studios um, in the bank building on the corner of Broadway and uh, Beach Street. Uh, Central Ave where the journalists go upstairs to the second floor. Ask for Bob Dunbar. Okay, Selvage is going to kick off. Ravi Ryland's holding the ball down. Another line drive. Let's yeah, that's a nice in, kick, stay Mike. In, stay in. That's a nice kick. It does stay in. Oh, and oh. it's a great tackle by Michael Norton. He's made some great hits today, man. Oh, he came to play today, Peter. This guy high. He probably weighs less than everybody on the team. Okay, Winthrop's got 90 yards. I can tell you that kid felt that in his legs, Peter, because that was a good tackle. Well, needless to say, Revere is jacked for this game. And all you people out there that played for Revere in the past, you know how it feels to be on the field today. And I'm sure there are a bunch of people here, Peter, because this bench is, uh, stands are filling up. Okay. takes a, Every snap has been high. Oh, that's holding right so there, far, Peter. Mike. Throw the flag. A blatant hold by the Winthrop team. No flag. But Revere swarms, and we had Tommy Portrait, Stevie Noel, A.J. Mateen. There's been four or five guys in on every tackle, Mike. Winthrop is dumbfounded because usually it's like a hot knife through butter on Thanksgiving morning. Peter, I, I got to tell you, like, they, they, their movements aren't as crisp as they have been in no, the they past aren't. years. Uh... And Revere... Fans are yelling defense. Corbett takes the ball. He gets about seven or eight yards. Tackled by Murphy. That was Danny Murphy with the tackle. He upended him. And it's a third down situation, Mike, and this isn't four, four down territory. They got one more play to make it, to make the first down, and they're going to have to punt to Revere if they don't make it. Yeah, Mike, that was a blatant hold right in front of us. Well, 
I hate to admit I'm getting a little bit older, Peter, but it's nice to be down this end so I can see some stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, we figured if we had set up at the 50-yard line, there was going to be a lot of people around us. There would be too much noise. So, Mike, that's a 40-mile-an-hour wind hitting us in the face. (laughs) There's nothing to block it because all you got is that golf course over there. Yeah. Okay, Winthrop takes a timeout. Lou Chick is just imploring his players to just stay tough. It's going to be third and two. 119 left in the first quarter. Trying to wipe the tears out of my eyes, Peter, before they freeze on my face. (laughs) I think Bob mentioned something about hazard pay. I might get a, I might get a bungee cord at halftime out of my car <laughs> so I can secure myself to the fence. Okay, here we go. Big, big play. He goes oh, he far and in. makes he the first in. down, Mike. Yep. That was a keeper. He got five yards. He only needed two. So it's going to be first and ten for Winthrop from their own 32-yard line. Right up to the line again, Peter. Yep, no huddle. A little sweep to the Corbett's going oh, around got to plenty the side. Of room there, Peter. Sweep to the side. He had a lot of room. Yep. Picks up about six. It's going to be second and four. They come quickly to the line again. Winthrop moves. It's going to be five. And they're going to go back to where he was. So it's going to be second and ten. Actually, second and six. Let's correct that once and for all. Second and seven. Winthrop comes to the line. Tight formation. A fumble, There's fumble. A fumble in the backfield. And, and he gets him. pulled over by Eddie Valsimus and A.J. Mateen. They just were in there like, Mike, this is an unusual turn of events because usually Winthrop's offensive line is just blocks of granite. Revere is just swarming on defense the end of the first quarter Peter and at the end of the first quarter I I haven't said this too many times this year Mike Revere has dominated this football game so far oh two great stops two great fourth down stops early in the you know the period quarter you know they they had a, a turnover that that didn't amount to anything for Winthrop and Revere is just Those of you out there that are watching, you can see Revere is swarming on defense. And they are gang tackling everybody. I want to also give a shout out to George Kingston. His son John said he might be watching at home. George Kingston is... uh, a legend in the Revere school system, was a principal at the Barrow School, principal at the uh, at the Lincoln School, just uh, and the McKinley School. Just a great, great man, and uh, I want to wish him a happy Thanksgiving. His son Chris, son John, grandson Jeffrey. John said he might be watching this morning. I just want to give him a good a shout out. He's just a great person. And the rest of you that are watching out there, we're alive. We might be dead by the third <laughs> quarter. <laughs> we're um, going to have to make a few halftime adjustments ourselves. <laughs> exactly. If it was 35 years ago, I'd have the flask in my pocket, but I don't. 
Okay, Mike, third and 14. This isn't four down territory. Revere stops him here. They're going to get the ball back. He's gonna and he's going to roll it. He's going to roll out. He throws the ball. Oh, no. And it's incomplete. Actually, that was another great play by Michael Norton. Yep. He's a little slow getting up that Winthrop kid. As soon as he touched the ball, Michael had him, and now it's going to be fourth and 14 for Winthrop. That was actually a pretty good throw, Peter. It was a good throw. All three, all three passes today have been tight spirals, even though it's windy. So Winthrop's gonna gonna punt the ball away. The long snap is gonna be a problem, Mike. Yeah. And of course, fielding this punt, we always tell him to get underneath it, just get away. Maybe a blitz or something here, Peter. See ya. Oh, they're faking it, Mike. No, he's gonna get it off. And it's gonna go out of bounds on the other oh, side. Oh, That's it's gonna stay in bounds. It's a pretty good play. It's gonna go to the 25 yard line. Wow, that was a great play, Peter. Yep, but we got the ball back. First and ten at the Winthrop at the uh, Revere twenty-five. And Mike, we're gonna we're gonna see what Lou can come up with for this set of downs. I see uh, Tommy Portrait. Trotting out with the play, so I presume that he's going to be at quarterback. Peter, hold on. Just drop something. Okay, they come to the line. Danny Murphy's going to be on the center. He's got Portrait and Silva in the backfield. Takes the snap. Hands it off to... Uh, Tommy Portrait, and he's going to line. Oh, and Tommy Portrait goes out to the goes out to the 45 of Winthrop. He gains 35 yards, and Revere is sky high in a good way. He took off. There was a hole they opened up, and he was gone. And the the last guy back saved the touchdown. So Mike Revere is opening holes like uh, like a demolition crew. Okay, there goes Murph back on the center. He's got Portrait and Silver in the backfield again. Hands off the Portrait again, and he gets stopped at the line of scrimmage. Went to the well two times in a row. I lost my microphone cover there, Peter. I didn't know <laughs> if that was going to affect the telecast or not. But You're watching Revere TV live from Miller Field in Winthrop. 2013 Revere Winthrop Thanksgiving Day. 9.39 left in the half. It hasn't warmed up at all since we've been here, Mike. <laughs> I think it's gotten colder, Peter. The weathermen told us later in the day the temperature is going to get higher. One one degree at a time. Tommy Portrait won again for uh, one yard. It's going to be third and about, I'm thinking six or seven. Lou Chick giving him the play and sending it in. Now it's Portrait on the center. He's got Silva behind him. He's got A.J. Mateen behind him. Uh, that's a great play right there. Peter. It was. Winth Winthrop guy got in there early. Exactly. It's going to be fourth at about five. And you know something? The way Revere has been holding Winthrop today, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Lou Chick went far, but he's not. He's going to have Silva kick it away and pin him down in their, uh, Let's give in their own territory. Yep. 
but he's punting against the wind, Mike. Yeah, that ball's coming back to us, Peter. Uh, that ball's down by Dan Murphy, probably uh, 40. Well, yeah, punt, maybe. At the 30. It's hard to see, Mike. It's uh, the 30-yard line, 29-yard line. So happy Thanksgiving from Winthrop. Hope all the troops are home. Everybody came in. All the families are going to be together. And hopefully it's a great day for everybody listening out there. This is my favorite holiday, Peter. I love Thanksgiving. They lost it's a the fumble, ball, Peter. And Revere has recovered the fumble. Oh, M G, and my my daughter is gonna say, "What did you say?" Oh my God, the Revere High School Patriots have just dominated this game, Mike, in in every in every facet of the game. Peter, this is this is five quarters now of a uh, very, very very good football. But this is Winthrop, Mike. This is at Winthrop. This is before a stunned crowd of Winthropites. I mean, it's only seven to nothing, but on a day like today, you're not going to expect much offense. That could hold up, but Murphy's going to be on the center. He's got three backs. He hands it off to Portrait. Portrait goes around to the right, gains about two yards. Mike, it's getting colder. <laughs> oh, Mike. Oh, my God. Sorry, I feel man, like I, a storm I, chaser. <laughs> I go through moments of silence just because I can't talk right now. Those of you that are sitting on your couches watching us, thank God that you're Probably not here. Probably a nice warm oven watching <laughs> thank the God turkey that, cook right and now. And you're smelling that turkey. I'm smelling nothing. Tell you what, Peter, I'm getting a hint of a of a win today. That's what I want to see. Yes, exactly. Wow, he, Portrait's he, on the center this time. He's got Caleb Silver in the back. He hands it off. Oh, he okay. keeps it himself. He's going around. He might have a first down, Mike, because we don't have a good vantage point. He got dragged down close to the first That's down. That's the first down, Peter. They're pointing down. It is. It's a first down for Rivera. Put it on him for a second. On the cop. I'm looking at Car I'm looking at David Wilson. He's a big man and he's a hottie soul. He is freezing his badge <laughs> off today at this game. He's got a little little girl's hat on yeah. that he was searching for. I tell you, he's the best school officer in the state. He's just the kids love him. He does his job. Here goes Silver around the side. Dude, I'm he not gets, sure who had that. It looked like Tommy got tackled afterwards. That might have been the same play they just ran. Yeah, but that was that was Silva, I believe. And now Mike Revere's driving. It's going to be second and three. Here comes Portrait back out with the play. 547 left in the... 547 left in the second quarter. Portrait will be in the center. Tough to keep track, Peter. Yeah, he's got Caleb. He got Caleb behind him. And now number 22 has always been AJ Mateen, but he's never played offense before this, Mike. I gotta check with the, the bench. I gotta check and see if at halftime and see if they have a um, a roster of both teams. Pete, I know they did not have them in the uh, at the front gate. They did not have a roster. Well, I have my old roster in my car. Nice place for it. I was here at 7.30 this morning, Mike, trying to save a spot for the Revere TV truck because I didn't know who was going to park at the fence behind us. So I bought the newspaper. 
and sat there for an hour before they showed up. Okay, here we go. Tommy Silva hands it off to, and I don't, th I don't think he got it, Mike. Steven, Steven Selovich is pointing towards the first down, and it is a first down yeah, for Revere. So here the we go. continues. You know Full something, Mike, if Revere... Clock, uh, time's ticking. If Revere continues to play this way, um, all the cold will be for naught. You know something, these Revere players, Tommy Portrait has been a great player for four years. Caleb Silva has been a great player for four years. Um, they, they deserve a game like this, and hopefully they can, they can keep it going. Tommy's a fabulous football player. Yep. He got caught at the line. I don't think he gained much there, Peter. Nope. It's going to be second and nine. Second and goal from the nine. Hypothermia is setting in. <laughs> I don't know what the symptoms are, but if you're shivering uncontrollably and you can't feel your hands or your feet, I think that might be a good sign. You look around us, Mike, there's nothing. There's a golf course, there's a baseball field, and there's a Little League park behind us. There's nothing to block the wind. Actually, they did a nice job with this Little League park behind us, Peter. It came out pretty good. Yep. They built that a few years ago. Okay, there's a Caleb Silver up the middle. He's tackled by down. number 84, a 34. Now, I'd like to see a little toss here, Peter. You know, I like to call my plays, but uh, I like to get them strung out. And it's going to be third and nine. Tommy Portrait actually hasn't had great luck passing this year. Maybe they could get Dan Murphy to throw a pass. You know, both teams um, have had off years. Revere's 2-8, and eight, Winthrop's 5-5. Five and five. You know, and they've beaten teams that the other team lost to and have lost the teams that the other team beat. So I, I anticipated um, a good game. Tommy Portrait doesn't like what he sees on defense. He takes a timeout. Mike, I have to reveal a big secret. I also have long johns on today. Well, <laughs> I hate to talk about underwear in the telecast, but on my way out of the house, I remembered I had a pair from last year when we went uh, snowboarding, and I went and put them on, and I'm glad I did, baby. Dude, I was 100% sure you would have been here in shorts today. No, I told you. And maybe flip-flops. I told you, Gloria DeGiulio raised a crazy <laughs> kid, but not a dumb one. You're watching Revere TV. They're not only good, but we're brave. Not Bob Dunbar. He's in the truck, warm as toast. Yeah. Executive producer. Left Leon, Sergio Leon, and uh, and Angel Arroyo. He probably has a stove in there. Probably. On the camera. Cooking. Yeah, he's probably cooking his turkey in there. <laughs> Sergio, Le Sergio Leone and Angel Arroyo on camera. Ah. Catch carry and moved. It's going to be uh, third and 14. There really are no words to describe how cold it is out here. The cold is one thing, Mike, but the wind is, is just... Yeah, that's well, when you're a football player too, Peter, and you got nothing on your hands. Used to wear, it, you know, and I know they make those gloves that the ball just sticks to and everything. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we used to wear scuba gloves yeah. back in the day. Well, and Peyton the Manning had those gloves on last week. If you watched, you wonder how he throws the ball. I mean, those are yep. those are made to grip the ball. But none of these kids have those. It's all for the love of the game and and the spirit of your school. Oh, no, back to oh, Murphy, back to Murphy. Little flea flicker. Don't go over the line. 
<laughs> We're oh, Murphy Tommy Portrait it. is in for the touchdown. Flea flicker that turned into a broken play. Peter, all he did was have to. I'm glad exactly. it happened, but. Steven Selovich was, uh, was that Steven Selovich open or was it Caleb Silva? On the left side, that was Murphy. That handed the ball off to him and then they ran back the other way. But Murphy ended up with the uh, little so we're talking there about at the end. Talk about being lucky and good. Broken play. Yep. And now the crowd on the Revere side. Chanton Tommy Portrait. Is dead. And rightly so. So Revere's up two scores. There goes Selovich against the win. It's up and it is good. Oh. No good. Oh, I thought I saw it go behind the thing. Behind, behind the pole. Premature good. Sorry. Coming back up the field, it's Revere 13, Winthrop nothing on Thanksgiving morning. 2-11 left here, Peter. And they are just, they're jacked, Mike. They're jacked, and rightly so, and Winthrop is in shock. Winthrop is in shock. Well, and they should be, Peter. i got to tell you, I've seen a lot of games down here, and uh, it's been a lopsided uh, win-loss ratio and uh, I've never seen the dominance that I'm seeing today from Revere they haven't played this way in this field I have to say in 20 years Mike since the game that Revere won on a field goal by uh, Joe Giordano and Mike Cello was the coach they won on a field goal at the at the with no time left But I haven't seen Revere dominate a Winthrop team on Thanksgiving Day like they're doing right now. 2-11 left in the half. Steven Selovich is going to kick it back. All right. He kind of topped the ball and it only went about 30 yards, but... Winthrop gets it back to about the 47-yard line. Finally located my son in the crowd. It Mike, we get a good crowd here today of Revere people. Yeah, it's a great crowd. You know what, Peter? And then and seeing how much the high school has grown over the last uh, few years. Oh, absolutely, years, yep. Have, you know, we got a lot of students here today. Uh-oh, we're right up the gut. Maybe a touchdown-saving tackle by 22, Mateen. And then next year, Mike, will be in the new stadium for Thanksgiving. Can't wait. You know, I, I'm i really surprised that Winthrop, multiple Super Bowl um, winners, have not done something with this field. You know, this is this is as bad as, as uh, our Peter, stadium. They, you know, they're, they're a poor town. Small. And the other thing is, we I, get a lot of grants because of our diversity. There is no diversity in Winthrop, no, probably. No, what? You know. Uh, you, you know, you've said it a hundred times. I mean, you grew up here. Your, your kids stay here. The grandkids stay here. Absolutely. I mean, the, I mean there's there's very little. Uh, very few people move in. Very few people. That's move right. Out. There's, there's <laughs> very there's very little diversity here, and diversity, you know, has its good and its bad. We get a lot of money in Revere because of all the nationalities that we have. It's over the middle. Oh, and Incomplete. it's broken up by number 24, Tommy Portrait. And he's uh, he's been in the middle of everything. One twenty-two left in the first half. Revere's up thirteen to nothing. And it's going to be second and Kyle nine. Norton was in the middle of that thing too, though, Peter. Yeah, Michael Norton gets the game ball for the Kyle, first sorry, half. Michael Norton. There is a Kyle Norton <laughs> who pitched for Revere. No relation. You know something? Being up thirteen and. 13 to nothing makes it a little bit warmer on the sideline. When you lose a 13 to nothing, you're freezing your butt off on the other side. Okay, 
takes the snap, goes up the middle, he gets the first down, he stopped and he's buried. Tommy Portrait picked him up and put him down after he got the first yeah, down. I, I, that was a great hit, though, Peter. That was a great. for uh, cheering after a 10-yard run. That's Yes, exactly. Revere seems to be breaking down a little bit up front after dominating oh, from the beginning. That's a good hit by Murphy. Yeah, Danny Murphy made the tackle. But after another gain of five. We got they under a minute. Here, Peter. They're on the yeah, but it'll be nice now. to hold them to nothing before the half. We got 56 seconds. They hand it off, and he's gang tackled. Uh, it's going to be third and four. Timeout Winthrop. 49.4 seconds left in the first half. You know, I saw Frank Mucci, who was a member of the, uh, the, the 1973 Super Bowl team uh, when I came in today. And I, 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 I apologize to him for, for not doing anything with that Super Bowl team. You know, they're all still. It was perfect. Right? Yeah, it, it was perfect. And you know something? I'm going to talk to uh, Sean Hart about opening the new stadium the first game of the season by getting them all there. There's plenty of time to do it, and let's get them all there. They deserve to be recognized. And great the new idea. Stadium, That's a great idea. Peter. New stadium would be a f perfect place to do it. Okay, here we go. We got Winthrop in the gun. He's going to take it himself. He's going to go up the middle. He's got the first down. Winthrop's going to call timeout. And the guy on the clock is Johnny on the spot. He hit that button as soon as that whistle went off. Winthrop's going to go no huddle. First and ten. From the 15. Oh, same play. Same play. And no gain. Timeout Winthrop. I, they don't get 10 in the first half. This has to be their fifth timeout. I mean, give me a break. Mike Revere needs to stop them here. They don't want Winthrop to go into the in, into, in at halftime uh, with, with any momentum because they've had none so far. No, Peter, you know, and Winthrop's one of those teams that, you know, we don't want them to have any momentum. I mean, oh, things exactly. can change, like, in a second around here, and Once again, hi to everybody that's watching out there, not only in Revere, but online, anywhere in the world. It's Jose Escobar, one of the assistant coaches, just coming through the fence. Wants to pass something on the coach. I see Raquel McDonald down there, track star at Boston College, former star at Revere High School, owns all the hurdle records. I'd like to send a shout out to her mom, uh, Chicky McDonald, who's been ill recently. If you're watching, check have a, a great Thanksgiving. I'll be over to see you over the weekend. God bless you. She's a great lady, Peter. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Was over a house last week. She's got three great kids. Three brilliant kids. Okay, here we go. The fake. Throws the ball. He's going to throw the ball up again. It's in the end zone, and there's a Got touchdown. It. Winthrop High School. I thought he might have been over the black line, Mike, but... Uh, I guess it wasn't. Okay, so Winthrop gets on the board with 26 seconds left and a half. Mike, they uh, they made easy work of that last drive. Winthrop. Uh, yeah, that that was. 
much fin- cleaner than the first. Finally uh, coming together a little bit, yep. and they're gonna they're gonna kick the extra point. Watch for the fake, Mike. It's down, it's up, and it's good. So, with 26 seconds left in the half, it's Revere 13, Winthrop 7. Even though the scoreboard operator would like to put 8 up there. And a fan gets a hold of a football. (laughs) A little fan. Oh, my God. Interesting first half, Mike. Dominant performance by Revere High School, offensively and defensively. Um, very capable of running back this kickoff. Well, I th- you know, Peter, I know we're saying how cold it is out, but uh, I think this wind is certainly going to play a factor in this game a little bit. Well, the wind's getting worse. Seems like you can only throw it one way. Revere's going to get the ball to start the first, second half. So they get it now, and then they get it in the second half. They don't have a lot of time now, but they do have 47 timeouts left. So they're going to be able to <laughs> stop the clock frequently. Bunch of hearty souls, Mike. Attending the game. And they kicked it off. Oh, Oh. that's a big booming kick. It's going to go into the end zone. In the end zone and sit on it. And Revere's going to come from the 20 right in front of us. You don't have to touch the ball on a kickoff, though, Peter, before the whistle blows. I thought you did. The rules are changing so much in college and pro football. They have, as Jerry Callahan would say, they have wussified (laughs) professional football. A couple of those, a couple of the penalties that they call for high tackles and all that stuff. Give me a break. Okay, here we go. Tommy Portrait on the center. He's got 26 seconds to run the offense. He's going to take a knee. And they're going to let the clock, yeah. the clock hasn't even started. <laughs> there he is, Peter. There, there he is, is, winding the clock There's down. Windmill Willie. Okay. Well, Peter, I liked everything I saw in that first half, except for that last drive. But, uh, you know, uh, uh, overall, Peter uh, Revere has certainly uh, well, the boys, outplayed Winthrop. The boys must be getting cold. So... Uh, As Winthrop trots off to go into their warm locker room, Revere's going to get stuck huddling together in the wind. So Tommy Portrait scores a touchdown. Uh, Caleb Silva scores a touchdown on a long run from scrimmage. And at the end of the first half, from Millerfield in Winthrop, it's Revere 13, Winthrop 7. We're going to be back uh, after the half, and we're going to try to thaw out. This is Hypo along with Thermia. (laughs) And we'll be back after the half. All right. Be right back, folks. So this is the last year. The last game at this stadium as it stands. Next year, you'll have a brand new stadium here where you'll get to play, Joey. What do you think of that? Good. New concession stand. Yeah. You can see how we set up here. Back at Coolers. That's donated from the Showcase Cinemas of Revere every week. They give us a couple bags. We sell it for a dollar a bag. This group of people has raised approximately $5,000 for the Revere High football program. So let me just say that I was alone at the beginning of all this, and my son, Stephen Piazza, tore his ACL and couldn't even play this entire season. What a shame for the team and what a shame for him. 
But because of these people, I hunt around and I continue to do this all year and I had a good time doing it. It's a good thing to help take care of the kids. But going forward next year, we need everyone to come down here and eat at the concession stand on Friday nights. If you think of the cost to get into the game and what it costs you to eat here, you could not have a better time and spend less money on a Friday night at any restaurant. And the food here is out of this world. And it will be going forward too. It's really fantastic here. We have two sous chefs. Anthony Berry and his, and his uh, co-worker Joseph come down every week to cook for us. They were the ones that made the delicious clam chowder we had this week. Out of this, uh, this year, it was out of this world. The food here is just fantastic. And the prices can't be beat. And it's all for a good cause for the Real Deer High football program. Okay, hi to Johnny, number 86 this year. Good luck. Go, Woo! Thanksgiving 2013. Reveal leads 13 to 7 after dominating the first half, and they're going to get the ball to start the second half. At halftime, just a great group of people. You go through the crowd and you see guys from years past. Mike Mucci, who I mentioned on the last telecast, Boston College, class of 72, all conference with Boston College, great player at Revere High School was a major in the state police. Good friend of mine talking to him and having a few laughs. Okay, here we go. 22 minutes to go. It's a squib kick and it's touched. Not a good, not a good choice to touch the ball. And Revere's gonna get the ball at about their own 30. Actually, it's the 34. Okay, Mike's back. Yep. This is Peter D. Hello. Along Hello, with Mike. Folks. And we're in the frozen tundra of Winthrop High School at Miller Field. Okay, Tommy Portrait's in the gun. He's got Murph on his left. He's going to take the ball around to the right. If he gets around this corner, and he gets a first down. It looks close, Peter. Nice way to start the second half. Tommy Portrait goes Good around job, the Emily. right side for 11 yards. The ball's at the 45-yard line. First and 10, Revere. Good run right there, Peter. It was, right off the bat. Considering that Winthrop was in a nice lo warm locker room at halftime and Revere was out here blowing on their hands. Okay, portraits in the gun. He sidesteps the tackler, sidesteps two, tries to get another, and he's got another first down, Mike. Two runs in a row by Portrait. You know, he knows he has 22 minutes of high school football left. And nobody is going to stop him. No, he's laying it all out right now, Peter. But this will be a very, very important drive for exactly. them. Exactly. Winthrop with that little momentum, that touchdown at the end of the half. Well, Revere's going with the wind in the third quarter. So make hay while the uh, sun shines, as they say. Castro and Murphy, a split left. He's got no receiver on the right. Nope. Oh, he tripped, go yeah, he tripped going through. But you know something? Considering how much rain we got yesterday, Mike, this field is in remarkable shape. That's the first slip I've seen in the whole game. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. from this barren wasteland called Miller Field in Winthrop.
I see Joe Ritchie, last year's quarterback, just made made the scene. Okay, Portra yep. takes the ball. He tries to go out the middle himself. It's going to be third and about two. Actually, third and one. Into Winthrop territory. The, the ball rolling, though, Peter. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Nothing safe from this wind. That looks like third and three, Peter. There's more clothes flying around here than a college party. <laughs> Are you kidding me? There's hats, there's scarves. Just flying off people's bodies. Okay, we got about we got about two yards. This is four down territory, I would think. And Tommy all takes the ball, hands off to Caleb oh. Silva, and he gets stacked up at the line of scrimmage. That's a great play, Peter. Oh, yeah, Winthrop came on tough. Nobody said Winthrop was going to lay down the rest of the game. They give him his forward progress, as he should get. Ravi Ryland's in the game for Mateen. Seems to be shaken up a little bit. And it's going to be fourth and about three. They have fourth and five on the scoreboard, but that doesn't look like five yards to me. Nah, uh, I'll, I'll say four, Peter. Coach Chick is going to take a shot. Portrait keeps the ball himself. Oh, oh and I think he might have it. I think he has the first down, Mike. It is a first down. Tommy banged his knee when he went down. First down, Revere High School. I was just joined by my daughter, Emily D., standing in front of me. Assisting me with some technical difficulties. Uh, appreciate that, Em. Emily's a good kid. <laughs> she won't talk on camera, though. Would you like to say a few words, Em? Absolutely not. Okay, Revere sustaining the drive. He's got receivers on both ends. Murphy, Ryland, Castro. Murphy in motion. Tommy drops the ball. Picks it up, tries to get around the edge. Gets back to the line of scrimmage. Okay, fumble snap. Yep, looked like he just took his eye off of it for a second, yep. Peter. Turns into a... Uh, a one yard game. Maybe a half a yard, one yard game. Yep. Well, maybe it's. Yeah. So it's second and nine from the 32 yard line. And they have third and nine, huh? but I think the wind just blew the three over the leader <laughs> on the on the marker. Manny Velez just noticed that the marker was was in error. Oh, and he's, got, he's got some room. Uh, oh, oh nice Caleb run. Silva just almost broke loose. Number 34 has made many tackles for Winthrop today. Excuse us. We don't have rosters, but it's going to be a Revere first down from about the 16-yard line. First and ten. Murphy on the center. He's got his two stud backs right behind him. Portrait takes the ball for about two. And he's second and about eight. This telecast is being brought to you by Revere TV. 
your source and revere for obviously sports, entertainment, late night entertainment, politics. Sponsored by Frigidaire. School, absolutely. Sponsored by <laughs> Carrier Air Conditioners. Executive producer Do jo uh, Bob Dunbar in the truck. Lucky duck, because it's warm in there. Okay, portraits on the center. Takes the pitches to Caleb Silva. Caleb's looking for an opening. He's going to go around to the right. He's going to get tackled after about a two-yard gain. It's going to be third and five. Sergio Leone and Angel Arroyo on camera. And this is Peter D. and Michael Hinojosa. Braving the elements. It's a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> it's not a cloud in the sky and just cold. Yeah, it is cold. I wore shorts yesterday to school. It was 66 degrees. New England, we love you. Okay, here we go, third and seven. Portrait looks to pass. He's going to throw it. You're going to get rid of it, Tom. Not a good idea. He might have fumbled it on the way down, Mike. Winthrop's pointing towards the... No, I guess he kept it. It's going to be fourth down. And a mile. You know something, Mike? I would pooch it. But I don't think they're going to pooch it. Well, they might. Caleb Silva's going back into punt formation. That was a sign of an inexperienced quarterback, Mike. Tommy Portrait's not a quarterback. You know, he's done a great job filling in. Okay? Uh, too hard. Or oh, maybe not. No, maybe not. And Revere downs the ball inside their own five-yard line on the two. That's the six, Peter. Oh, I'm looking at... Um, that's right. But I thought that was the front close. of the end Either way, he's inside the ten and... So Winthrop has to go 94 yards. Into the wind. 249 left in the third quarter. Revere ate up a whole bunch of time. I, I think that doesn't, I think that works against us, Peter, because that uh, was with the wind. That's right. All that time. So we nearly needed to punch one in there. Okay, Winthrop gets about probably three yards. No, getting back to Tommy Portrait, he has done everything that's been asked of him for four years. And when the quarterback, when the quarterback pitcher got muddied this year, he stepped in and, you know, did a great job. But that's a sign of, you know, you got to get rid of the ball when somebody's chasing you 20 yards behind the line of scrimmage. Yep. You're right, Peter. Absolutely right. Okay, here we go. Second and seven. Second oh, and seven. Another and great play. Flying in. That was uh, that was catch Curry in 78, 87, Stephen Selvish. And it's going to be third down and seven. A, a third down and more than that. Well, third and I would say eight or nine. This is a huge play for Revere, Mike. On defense. Big play, Peter. Big right here. 136 left in the third quarter. They have to punt. They'll be into the wind. We'll end up with fantastic exactly. field position yep. and maybe some time to make some hay. Oh, it's a fumble. The nope. They recover. Winthrop jumps on it. It's going to be fourth down in about eight or nine. And Revere's going to get the ball back with a minute left in the first half, and Winthrop's going to have to punt into the wind. I almost call a timeout here, Peter, just so I can spend a minute with the wind, but I don't know. That's just me me thinking out loud. Oh, you have 11 left. 
Okay, here we go. Caleb Silva is back for the punt, and he's at the 35, uh, 40 yard line. There's the ref right on the line. This kid steps out. It's a safety, and you get the ball back. And Revere's going to get the ball in unbelievable field position with the wind for another 31 seconds. Uh, Pete, I say, you, you know, again, I All think time you, out. No, no, I think you catch that ball. Kicked it right to him. He ran right. I mean, it would have hit him right in the hands. And he ran out of the way. I mean, I know they don't want to fumble, but the potential to pick up another 10 or 15 yards there running the ball back was, uh, I don't know. Looked like Wes Welker there for a second. Backing off on the punt. Yeah, what a mistake he made. That was, wow. that was Wel Welker's fault. You know, everything, you know, you talk about how tough he is, and I was a fan, and I still am a fan because he's a great guy, and I thought he got railroaded because of his rift with uh, Belichick. But you know something? That wasn't a tough play. That wasn't that wasn't a tough guy play. He let it go. Okay, Portrait Thunder hands it off to Silva, and he gets he gets stuffed at the line of scrimmage. 25 seconds left. Lose saving his timeouts for the end of the game. That's the end. That's going to be the end of the third quarter, Mike. I don't think they're going to get a playoff. I don't think they're going to get a playoff. Okay. We got three quarters in the book in the 2013 Turkey Day Classic. And it's going to be Revere going into the fourth quarter with a 13 to 7 lead, Mike. Yep. And uh, only issue here, Peter, is that we will be going into the wind the rest of the day. There hasn't been much throwing of the ball anyway. The, the big thing is that Winthrop's going to be with the wind. Well, again, it just seems like all of the movement has been with the wind. Yes. Offensively. No, so I agree. Both sides. You know, even uh, Winthrop's uh, uh, late score in the second half, I mean, in the second quarter there was with the wind. But we do have the ball, and we're in Winthrop territory, and it's uh, second and 11. But we did score down that end. Portrait scored going into the corner. That's right. Yep. Yep. You're right. Okay. The ball's on the 32-yard line. Second and 11. You know, Peter, there's a, uh, I'd like to give a little shout out to the uh, freshmen or the sophomores that are standing on the sidelines that haven't got one play in yet. Exactly. Let me tell you, it is cold. You can't wear enough clothes down there. And those pads certainly aren't warm, so. Hey, they love the game. They stuck out the whole season. Tommy hands it off. Oh, Tommy get gets the handoff. He gets a little bit of room. He's going to yep. get four or five yards. It's going to be third and four or five. We're in four, four down territory, so he's going to have two plays to make uh, four or five yards. Actually, it looks like it's going to be third and Peter. one. Third and one, yeah. Third and one. Eating up the clock. 10.32 left in the game. The Ice Bowl. We're lucky there's no precipitation, Mike. Uh, imagine if this game was yesterday. They would have had to cancel it. Oh, he runs into his own man, but Tommy goes up down. the middle. He goes to the five. 
Actually, I think he's inside the 10 yard line. I, we can't see from here because we got the cheap seats. Yep. First <laughs> and goal, Mike. Down and, uh... First and goal from the 10. I think yeah. it's inside of that. It looks like the seven, Peter, from here, but. Okay, here we go. Murphy's going to be on the yeah, center. It's close. It's just inside the 10, Peter. He's got Caleb and Tommy in the backfield. Gives it off to Tom. Tom goes around to the right. Big jukes a little. It's going to be holding on Revere. I have a feeling. Yep. You can't start being stupid now, Mike. It's, no, be... it's, pretty, it's been a pretty flag-free game, and this yep. game gets pretty chippy. It's going to be first and 20 for Rivia from the 20. Oh, offsetting penalties, Mike. Oh, all right. So it's so it remains first and ten, I believe. You don't lose a down on offsetting. Nope. Just replay the whole thing like it never happened, Peter. Do over. Hit the wire. Okay, Murphy's on the center, the sophomore. Tommy gets got dragged down run down by here, behind. Yeah. It's going to be second and 10 or 9. Walk back to the huddle. Take your time. 8.57. Mike, a score here would be huge. Peter, we uh, we could use it right now, but it's going to be second and ten again, or uh, second and ten. Okay, portrait is on the center. He's got Caleb Silva that he pitches to. He's got block and he goes around the corner. Doesn't get anywhere. So now we're going to have third and ten or third and nine. We're kind of stuck in a in a rut here. That down marker has, has moved the number, but hasn't moved in four downs, including the penalty. Well, let's see what Chick has up his sleeve right here, Peter. No, he's got, he's got two downs to make t uh, 11 yards, but they're going to call timeout. Timeout? Patriots. That's a good time out here, Peter. This is yeah. an important play right here. Uh, Absolutely. You know, you, you got to make some yardage on this play. You know, I, I wouldn't I, trust a field goal even from that. Portrait missed the extra point in that end. I mean, uh, uh, Selovich. It is a tough win. Well, you're sitting on the 10. That's 27 yard field goal right now, Peter, where yeah. the extra point is uh, 20 yards. So, but the three points would be huge. Winthrop would have to score twice. Exactly. You want to put them in a position to score twice because now, if they do score a touchdown, they're going with the win for the extra point. Okay, here we go. It's getting down to the nitty gritty. This is an important two plays for Rivera. Tommy Portrait is in the gun. He's got Caleb Silva with him in the backfield. He got three split. Oh. Tommy goes oh, up the middle. He's, and he's gonna. Room. He's gonna be close. Probably down to the 
two or three yard line, actually closer than that. Well, it's going to be like kicking an extra point here, Peter. It's going to be fourth and I two. Think, I think we need to talk about this again. I don't know. I don't think they're talking about it, Peter. No, they're not. But if you know something, if they don't score, winter pass to go 99 yards. But I think you go with your workhorses that you had all season. You got, you know, Silva and it's 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 fourth and four, Mike. It's not just a it's a timeout. I had a little confusion there, Peter. Looked like somebody was lining up on the wrong side. It's not like it's a done deal. I thought it was fourth and one. We got fours all across the board. Fourth down, four to go, ball on the fork, fourth quarter. The fours are wild, baby. I was saying before he came up, Mike, I was talking to Mike Mucci at halftime. He had both his knees replaced since last year. I usually hook up with him at BC games. He didn't go to any games this year. And he thinks it's a great idea, and he will help us find players uh, for the opening of the new stadium. You oh, know, great. Uh, prominent players from the past, Jimmy Delgazo, who didn't only pl who didn't play in a high school Super Bowl game. He played in a pro Super Bowl game. Okay, here goes Revere, fourth down, and oh, they fumble it. The ball, Peter. And Winthrop's going to take over. I think he was over exuberant trying to move and hand off before he had the ball. So Revis gives up the ball, but Winthrop has a formidable task in front of him. 6.42 left in the game. They got 96 yards to go. And Revere's defense has, has been playing well the entire game, so. He's got two, he's got two, uh, uh, two receivers. That was, Peter, not even get a playoff, but. Uh, uh, split to the far left. The defense now. Okay. They give up four yards. Tackle was made by Portrait. Actually, Mateen made the tackle. It's going to be second and eight. If we can get the ball back one more time, Mike. Well, if Winthrop doesn't score here, Peter, there's not going to be a whole lot of time left in this game, right? Well, considering they have to go the whole length of the field. Okay, it's going to be big third down for Winthrop. It's going to be third about four. Well, actually, less than that. 5.45 left here in the fourth quarter. So it could get interesting, Mike, with 5.39 left. This is a huge, huge play for Winthrop's offense and for our defense. Uh, I think he, he might have got it. Yep. First down. First down, Winthrop. Looks like the ball's on the 15-yard line, Peter. Can't yep. quite see from here, but. Okay, Winthrop gets stacked up behind the line of scrimmage. In on that tackle was Eddie Valsamis, number 50. And it looks like uh, well, they lost two or three yards. Number there, 56, Duche Romeus. Second and 14 for Winthrop. Revere digging in on defense. I'm waiting for this quarterback to drop one of those high snaps. 
that he's been getting. He gets it out deep. Oh, good play by Murphy. Yeah, Danny Murphy played that ball really well. And now it's going to be third and 14 for Winthrop. Oh, 4.36 left in the half. I mean, left in the game. I thought Murphy had a beat on that ball for a second, Peter. And that wind just kept carrying it and carrying it. It's a Revere play, a lean in. Looks like Mateen. Well, the balls that the, that the Winthrop quarterback has thrown today, Michael, were, were pretty spot on. Peter, over some, the years, they've had some great quarterbacks that have come Oh, absolutely. Winthrop. You can name them. There's a list of them. Second, third and 14. Gets the snap. He's going to throw it to the side. And it's incomplete. And Winthrop's going to have to punt the football away with 429 left in the game. And Revere ahead 13-7. Mike Revere's defense has been wow, Stella all day. Well, now, let's stay on our toes right here, Peter. Well, I don't agree with what you say. Catch the ball. No, I, this I one, just, you're right. You want to know something, Peter? This one, let's get away from the ball. Let's just sack everybody on the line. Protect for... Uh... Exactly. Okay. Let's watch the snap. It's a low one. He's going to try to... Do what he did before. That's a nice punt by him. Oh, that's a great punt, Michael. By Winthrop. And Revere's going to have the ball at their own 38-yard line. 4-18 ball management, Mike. 4-18 left in the, in the game. And Revere's up by six points. Yeah, that was a 40 or 50-yard punt. Actually, there, as it yeah, out. That was a 15-yard roll, but the kid well, and he yeah, was running insane. when he kicked it. Okay, here we go. Hopefully, this is, we can... Two first downs we need, Peter. Chop Two up a bunch downs. of the clock. Yes, you're right. Two first downs. Because we know when we punt back into the wind, there'll be about a net 15 yards. You just have so. to be smart with the ball, Mike. There's a seagull that can't even <laughs> that can't <laughs> even fly against this wind. Okay. The clock's running, Mike. 343, 342, we don't care. Let it run, baby, let it run. Surprise, Winter Vision complaining. They stop it at 335. That's the official time, Peter. That's, that's a lot better. Okay, Murphy on, the, Murphy on the center. Takes the ball, hands it off the portrait. Portrait gets stacked up at the line of scrimmage. But the clock continues to run unless Winthrop called a timeout. They have 42nd of the game. Unless Winthrop took a timeout there. I'm pretty sure they did, Peter. Okay. One of those 20 or 30 yes, seconds. Yes, exactly. Uh, yeah. Not even sure what that means, but. Okay, here we go. We come to the line. It's going to be second and 10. Danny Murphy's going to be under center. He's got his two stud, stud backs behind him. This possession is the season for Revere. Goes to Caleb got Silva. Got He's going to go around. Oh, he had room, and he got, he dragged, got dragged down by down. number 51. That's almost a gain of eight there, Peter. Uh, second and five, third and five, third and four. From the 43, the clock continues to run. This is the biggest play of the game for Revere. <laughs> Another Mark. big play right here. <laughs> 
257, 256. No two-minute warning in high school football. Tell you what, this half went by a lot quicker than the first half. Thank God. All right. Hands it off to Portrait. Portrait goes uh, up the middle. He's not going to make it. It's going to be short. I believe he's going to be short. Well, here they come. The refs are going to talk about it. Uh, they're going to get a measurement in there. I think they're a little short, Peter. I think but they're a little short myself, Mike. Of course, you get a kid on the sticks that was out all night last night. Can't walk straight. Uh-oh. Mike, oh, it's inches. Peter. Inches. Peter. I would go for it. I think we go for it, Peter. I would go for it. It's a typical reveal winter of game. Anything could happen. Peter, again, what are we going to do? They're at the 45. Again, it's going to be a net 15-yard punt to the 15 yards. Exactly. Open. Yep. Lou Chick. Timeout Winthrop. You know, we haven't been stuffed at the line too many times today, Mike. I mean, nope. if you have to make an inch, I mean, if it was a foot, I mean, if it was a yard or two Again, yards. Again, we got the two great running backs in the uh, in the backfield, Peter. Exactly. I think Caleb is uh, is a little bit bigger of a back. That's where I would lean towards. Let him punish somebody, you know. I would throw him on the center. Because he hasn't been there the whole season. What will Winthrop say? They didn't know what it was doing. Okay, we got 237. We got a six point lead. We got six inches to go for a first down, which would be huge. But Revere has consistently shot Winthrop down, except for that run that they made. And it's going to be fourth and, and goal. You got to say, Lou Chick, you got guts, baby. Well, again, uh, Peter, again, kicking into this wind, uh, what do you get from it? You know? You might get 10 yards. Right. Okay, here we go. We got Tommy, Tommy Portra taking the ball on the center. He's going to go himself. Oh, they fight. Oh. Illegal procedure. Against Winthrop. I saw it happen, Peter. Yep. Someone moved. And now they're going to have to punt. Wow, you've got to be kidding me, Peter. Well, you know something? That's the second fourth down in a row that we either jumped or fumbled. I mean, you got to keep your poise. Hey, and then have confidence in your defense. They are going to go for it. That's fine. You got to give Luke. Here we Chick, go. Got to give Luke Chick his props for having the nerve to do this. Tommy Portraits in the gun. He's going to take it himself around the corner, and he's going to be stopped. Split. going to be about a yard short and Winthrop's going to get the ball at about the 45 yard line with 230 to go in the game. Peter that 40 50 yard punt turns out to be huge right now. Yeah. It's the fastest way to make 40 yards right one play punted. So Luchik roll the dice like he should have. They got to go, Winthrop has to go half the field in two, 2.30. They probably have 11 timeouts left. So let's see if the Winthrop, if the Revere defense can step up. Two 
221, 220, the clock's running. 218, 217. Winthrop comes to the line. It's going to be second and six. Revere should be reaching for the ball. They give it to their best runner, who hasn't really done much today. I'm not sure he has the first down. Two minutes left, straight up. Down to the two-minute warning, Peter. Wow, is this exciting. The Revere defense has really come together the last couple of weeks, They really Peter. have. Uh, and a big Thanksgiving Day win. Sitting in their hands. Would be the icing on the cake. But we have a few more stops between now and the end of the game, Peter. Absolutely. And, uh, Two minutes. Ball sitting on the 37. You're watching Revere TV. All the excitement brought to you live in your living room. Okay, here comes Winthrop, third and two. High snap. Hands it off to Corbett. He goes up the middle. I think that's his longest gain of the day. And why isn't the clock running, Mike? Uh, on the first down, they have to wait for the chains. I guess. There it goes. 152, 150. Same play, Peter. Yep. Oh, that's a nice hit right there. Yep. By number 22. Mateen, he was reaching for the ball, too. A timeout Winthrop. I hope somebody keeps track of these timeouts, man. Well, I lost track eight timeouts ago. Ball's on a 19. Five ahead. Or, or 50, but I think it's five. Had a fan asking me how many timeouts they had because that's like Frankie everybody else in the stands. Frankie D'Angelo. Okay, here we go. Here we go, Winthrop, second and eight. Oh, a great tackle again by number 12. Michael Norton has made some very, very big tackles in this game. This 131. The is running, Peter. They yeah, get Winthrop might be out of timeouts, finally. 124, 122, 121. Winthrop, third and nine. Big play, Peter. <laughs> well, it's two down. It's four down territory, obviously, know, but, but this is a huge play. He's going to take it himself. He's going to try to throw it into the end zone. Oh. He overthrows him. So Winthrop's down on one play, Mike. Winthrop's down on one play, Mike. That's it. Fourth and eight. From the 19-yard line. Winthrop calls timeout. And Mike, you got to wonder why they didn't call timeout when there was a minute and 40 seconds left. Maybe they only had one left, Peter. I know we uh, lost track of it, but maybe that wasn't the time. Jose Escobar going with his clipboard. Going to help out the coaches. And it comes down to this, Mike. <laughs> the coach's game plan ended up in the auto body shop behind, <laughs> behind the end zone. You, whoever the cheerleader was, she's uh, covered head to toe, but yep. she had some speed to catch that thing. Okay, Mike, this is it, baby. Thanksgiving Day, you're up by six. Winthrop has the ball at the 19. It's fourth and eight. And there's a minute and seven seconds left. Tommy Portridge's brother imploring 
the crowd, and here we go. It's getting loud here, Peter. Here we go, baby. One play. Fourth and eight. Winthrop's going to oh, throw the ball. It the they're Winthrop. putting it in the air, Peter. And it's no good. Revere's going to win this football game, Mike. On defense, Peter. Revere is going to win this football game, and they deserve it. I talked about crying earlier. I'm going to wow. cry today. This is a great win for the Winthrop, uh, for the Revere High School Patriots, and they deserve it. From beginning to end, and Mike, we talked about turnovers mean in the game. They had one turnover, yep, that even. interception, and it didn't lead to anything. This was a great football game. Now you take a couple of knees, Mike. Minute left, and this game is over. 2013. Lou Chick can finally <laughs> swallow his turkey. Well-deserved win. Peter, great defensive game plan. Great plays on defense. I mean, uh... I, I just, I, I can't say enough about how the defense played today. I, I never got back to my car, but I just want to, I just want to give a shout out to all the seniors on this team that endured a two and eight season, but you know, it doesn't make a difference anymore because Revere High School is going to win the Thanksgiving Day game. The clock still hasn't started. Typical Winthrop, Peter. <laughs> Hey, Sean! Start the clock! Well, they must be keeping it on the field anyway. But the clock hasn't started. I'm getting a little bit uh, over-exuberant here. Well, but you are in Winthrop, and anything could happen. Start that clock. And now the clock finally starts up. We're going to let it run down. The class of 2014 at Revere High School crowding the fence. Coming down from the stands. They got something to cheer about. Peter, we don't know how big. I mean, this is. This, this happens is about as often game. as Haley's Comet. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds left. Revere stopped Winthrop on their last drive. Tommy Portrait on the center. He's going to take a knee. And that's going to do it, Mike. That's history. Oh, and they're going to give Lou Chicatelli an ice bath in 20 degree below zero weather. But you know something? I don't think he's going to care. We got six, five, four. It's like New Year's Eve here, baby. And that's it. Revere High School wow. has upset the Winthrop Vikings at I Miller Field. And the class of 2014 oh. is storming their players. My God. Winthrop's waiting to have their hands shook, but you know something? I'm not sure that's going to happen. Tommy Portrait. We gotta, and now Stevie Selovich restores a little bit of order, and he knows that they need to go over there and do the right thing. So for the first time in four years and about the second time in 30 years, Mike, Revere High School has has, has been triumphant on, on uh, Thanksgiving morning. You've been watching Revere TV. We had an exciting game here. Uh, Dave Wilson's out on the field trying to clear the kids away. It's an emotional moment wow, for the high school. They end up eight, three and eight. Winthrop ends up five and six. Tommy Portrait and Caleb Silva score the touchdowns for Revere. And Michael Norton was a defensive star with, with the tackles that he made. And if his mother's watching out there, be proud. Peter, Cut the a, turkey. I don't mean to cut you short, but this was one of the finest Winthrop uh, Thanksgiving Day games uh, that I've seen in, you know, since I was playing. I mean, this was a great game, Peter. And it's going to be a joy to watch that roll of the of the scores at the 6 o'clock news tonight to see our name up on the top. I can't wait to watch this game again on Revere TV. You've been watching Revere TV. Happy Turkey Day from Miller Field.
The final score, Revere, 13, Winthrop, 7. Thanks to Bob Dunbar in the truck, Sergio Leone and, and Angel Arroyo on the camera. This is a, a Turkey Day extravaganza from Millerfield. The final score again, 13 to 7, Revere. This is Pete DiGiulio. It's Mike Hinojosa. Saying goodbye from the frozen tundra. But you know something? I'm warm now, baby. Have a great day out there. Have a great turkey. And uh, hug your kids. God Happy bless you. Happy Thanksgiving, folks. Thank you.